As hosts of hit reality shows like Love is Blind and The Ultimatum, Marry or Move On, Nick and Vanessa Lachey have become kind of like the love and marriage gurus of the world of reality TV. The couple's been married for a decade now, but their relationship isn't in a good place. Here's a deeper insight into their love story and the ultimatum Vanessa gave him before they got married. Here's a question the couple is probably sick to death of being asked. Was Nick still married to Jessica when he first met Vanessa? The short answer is yes. Nick and Vanessa first met on the set of MTV's Total Request Live, but there was nothing romantic going on between them at the time. Vanessa was the host on the show, while Nick was a regular guest along with his band 98 Degrees. It wasn't until 2006 when Vanessa starred in Nick's music video for What's Left of Me that the pair coupled up. Even then, they didn't publicize their relationship until five months after Nick's highly publicized divorce with Jessica. Let's start off with a bit of history between Nick and Jessica. The couple were married for several years. In fact, they even had a reality show together. Their entire relationship was recorded and published on newlyweds Nick and Jessica. In late 2005, Simpson filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, and their split was finalized later the following year. At the time of the divorce, Nick claimed that Jessica's decision took him completely by surprise and he went on to speak about their failed marriage in many interviews. He put part of the blame on newlyweds for putting strain on his marriage and for causing him and his former wife to question their true reality. He even went on to release his hit song, What Left of Me, a breakup anthem that was filled with apparent lyrics about Jessica and starred his future wife Vanessa as his love interest. Jessica has had quite a bit to say about Nick and her marriage to him in her memoir, Open Book, where she talks about how much they meant to each other and always will. She also talks about being as respectful as she possibly can to him and their relationship because she had married him and been with him for seven years for a reason, while also mentioning being hurt by him jumping into a new relationship so soon after their split. But she also included some things that caught her to divorce him, like his wandering eye and regular visits to the strip club and bars. But she also wrote that she had hoped the pair could stay on friendly terms after their divorce, even though, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Nick's hit song, What's Left of Me, was about Jessica, but the video starred Vanessa. So, as we mentioned before, it wasn't until Vanessa starred in Nick's music video for for his hit song that the two fell for each other. Long before the two made their relationship public, fans had speculated that they might have something going on. But when Nick appeared on TRL to promote the music video, Vanessa was absent. Later, Vanessa told Billboard that she had called in sick to work that day because it's true, things had gotten romantic between the duo and she was too nervous to face him in front of the entire world. She specifically stated in Season 1, Episode 6 of The Ultimatum that falling for Nick was one of the most nerve-wracking things she's had to experience in her life. And that was largely because of the very public marriage and divorce Nick was involved in. But the couple made the announcement not long after the release of the video and the finalization of Nick and Jessica's divorce. In December 2006, they shared a sweet on-air kiss during MTV's New Year's Eve show. The relationship hit some bumps along the way. A year after they started dating and just a few days after moving in with Nick, Vanessa announced her exit from TRL. But in mid-2009, a source confirmed that the couple had gone their separate ways. Another Another two months later, the two were spotted making out at a bar in Los Angeles. When asked about their relationship status, Nick told us that they were still trying to figure things out and that they didn't know what the future held for them. He also added that they were in a good place and that he deeply cared for Vanessa. In another interview, Nick stated that he was happy in a relationship and that he was single for a minute there until they kind of patched things up. Then in November 2010, the singer finally decided to put a diamond ring on it. Because Vanessa's ultimatum worked, the couple made the announcement to us through a joint statement. So why did they break up for those two months? In the very first episode of The Ultimatum, Vanessa revealed to viewers that she had presented Nick with an ultimatum before they tied the knot in 2011, and that was primarily the reason behind their breakup. She said that while she never believed herself to be the girl who would give a man an ultimatum, at the time, she felt it was the right thing to do especially because she had been dating Nick for five years and needed to know where the relationship was going. She added, I have now moved in with him. I renovated his entire bachelor pad. There was a bar in the pool. I'm like, whatever you want. Now I'm like, okay, well, I want to put kids in the pool. Vanessa also recalled that seeing other people while they were on a break allowed them to gain a better perspective on their relationship and understand what each of them truly meant to the other. She said that it took seeing other people in order for them to realize that they were perfect for each other. They exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony that took place on top of a cliff overlooking the ocean on Necker Island. The ceremony took place on July 15, 2011, with only a few friends and family members present. Later that month, the newlyweds 
headed to St. Bart's for a romantic honeymoon, where they spent some alone time soaking up the sun and catching some waves. Where are they now? In March 2012, the couple announced that they were expecting their first child. They welcomed their son Camden in September 2013. In 2015, they had their second child, a daughter who they named Brooklyn. And then they had their third and final child, a son at the very end of 2016 and named him Phoenix. When asked about how they managed to raise all three children together, Vanessa told People magazine that it takes a lot of teamwork, but that they also make sure to take out time for themselves without the kids. Apart from the two reality shows, Nick and Vanessa have other projects together as well. They were announced as cast members on season 25 of Dancing with the Stars. They weren't paired up together though. Nick danced with Peta Murgatroyd while Vanessa worked with Peta's husband, Maxim Shmurkovsky. The couple gets pretty creative with their communication tactics and getaways. Vanessa will often show her husband some extra love by writing lipstick love notes on the mirror just to let him know she's thinking of him. She explains that everyone likes being told they're loved. Even if they know it already, they still want to hear it. Recently, the couple went off on a no kids allowed getaway, emphasizing the need for their solo time. Vanessa frequently talks about how they keep their relationship healthy. She has talked about how, even though they have their highs and lows as a couple, they have learned to communicate better and developed the tools they need to use to make their marriage work. The celeb says that because they are forced to spend pretty much all their time with three young kids, they need to put family first, but also find some alone time to reconnect as a couple. She also admits that her marriage to Nick isn't always all sunshine and rainbows. It definitely takes hard work to stay in a working marriage. While it may not be like a job, it does require constant work and maintenance. She says that both of them believe in tackling all problems head on and as a team, so they both are always on the same page and know exactly what each of them wants out of life. They've had to have some especially tough conversations specifically because of Nick's previous relationship. Nick, Vanessa, and even Jessica all seem to have moved on from their previous relationships, but people on the internet? Not so much. Understandably so. The barrage of tweets and stories about Nick's former relationship puts a strain on his current marriage to Vanessa, but the couple seems to handle that pretty well now. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Have you been keeping up with the news on these three? Do you think there's any truth to the drama the internet keeps trying to stir up between them? Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share, and hit the subscribe button for more content just like this.